Hey guys, what is up? Today is Friday, November 2nd, and good morning. So I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I never usually film before the gym, but I just really wanted to get my words out because I have my creative juices flowing and I want to talk, and usually I don't really want to talk in the morning. So um, I'm just going to give you some of the basic supplements that I take to help with my gut health. Um, if you guys follow me, you know like I'm huge on gut health, and this is because... Um, my whole life, I've really struggled with um, digest digestive issues. Um, IBS runs in my family. Both my parents have it. My brother has colitis. Um, if you don't know what colitis is, it's basically ulcers in the intestine which cause bleeding. Um, and obviously when your intestine is impaired, you have malabsorption of vitamins, minerals, of food in general. So you're almost malnourished. Your body just isn't working optimally. And um, like they say, your gut is basically your second brain. You aren't what you eat, you are what you absorb. And absorption occurs in the intestines. And this is why gut health is so important because if you're not absorbing things properly, then you're not going to get the results you want. Whether it's weight loss, gaining muscle, just feeling good and having good energy, it all starts with the gut. So that's why I'm so big on gut health. So I'm just going to go over a few things that I take every day. And the first one being my probiotic. I'm taking the probiotic from Advocare right now and um, I can put my link in the description box below. So I take one probiotic every morning. Um, this just promotes um, good gut flora. It promotes good bacteria. It just keeps your gut in a good balanced flora, which is important. So the next thing I take is digestive enzymes. I don't want my body to become dependent on digestive enzymes, so I try to only take it with the meals that are harder to digest or my larger meals. My favorite brand right now is the Flora brand. Um, and I take the immediate relief digestive enzymes. So what digestive enzymes do is they help to break down the food. So they're enzymes which your body should naturally produce. Um, to break down food, but sometimes if you're lacking those enzymes, your body doesn't break down the food as well, and then you don't absorb the nutrients as well. I really like these enzymes. I've tried tons of different enzymes, and I do notice a difference, and it sucks when you buy something and it doesn't work, because then it's like a waste of money, but I do really like this brand. I have found that it works for me, and I do find that when I use a certain brand for too long, it doesn't work as well, so um, it's good to kind of rotate and mix it up, but right now I'm stuck on the Flora brand Immediate Relief Digestive Enzymes. So I take digestive enzymes, um, because like I said, it helps to break down the food, um, which promotes the absorption of the nutrients from the food. Um, a lot of people will notice that they may be bloated after meals or they're gassy after meals. And bloating and gas isn't normal. Like we all experience it and we've all made it out to be the normal because it is so common, but it's not normal. If your body is producing gas from your meals or if you're bloating after a meal, it's because your body isn't breaking down that food and it's not absorbing it properly. So you need to figure out what it is you're eating and why it's causing you to be bloated or why you're getting gas from that specific food. Um, and you have to keep these things in mind and like throughout the day, keep like a mental diary or even write it down, put it into your phone and notice how you feel after each meal. So after you eat something, do you notice you feel bloated right away? Do you notice you have a little bit of gas? Do you feel a little bit of discomfort? Um, keep these things in mind because it's what you just ate that's causing you to feel that way. So. It's not normal to be bloated all the time. It's not normal to be gassy all the time. Of course, sometimes you're gonna have a little bit of gas, a little bit of bloat, and that's fine if you're okay with it, but, um, or if you're okay with going out to eat and experiencing a little bit of gas and bloat just from one meal, it's fine. But to experience that every single day from everything you eat is not normal because you need to be digesting the foods you're eating and you need to be absorbing all those nutrients, vitamins, minerals, Everything you're eating, you need to be absorbing in order to reap the benefits of that food. So that's why it is important to keep in mind what is causing you to bloat and what is causing that gas. So the next thing I like to do every morning, as you know, is my apple cider vinegar. So this just promotes um, good digestion. It helps me personally with bloating. It helps with um, 
balancing the pH of your stomach, which also helps with digesting food. Um, apple cider vinegar has so many benefits, not just for gut health, but also for like um, all other aspects of your body. So if you want more, just simply Google it. It tells you on Google everything else that it's good for, but I mainly take it for my gut health and for bloating and I take about a two ounce shot every single morning on an empty stomach. A lot of people say it's not good to take on an empty stomach, it's gonna erode your teeth, blah, 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 blah. But really, um, coffee itself is very acidic as well and that'll probably erode your teeth too. So everything in moderation, but to each their own, I don't mind it, so that's what I do. So the most recent thing that I've started using um, for my gut health routine is aloe. So I really like this brand, the Lily of Desert. So what I've noticed is that aloe is supposed to help with inflammation. It also has tons of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. And I've noticed it's helped me immensely, like night and day difference with my gut inflammation. So sometimes like I wake up, I don't feel bloated, but like I can just tell that my like insides are swollen. And like that's usually a result of eating something that's irritated your intestines um, or irritated your gut. And um, that's kind of also like what IBS is or um, colitis. It's inflammation of your intestines. So like sometimes I just feel inflamed and um, I found that the aloe has really, really helped me with this. Um, I only take it once a day. It does recommend to take one to three times a day. So one serving one to three times a day, one serving is 60 milliliters. Um, I found that when I take too much, it kind of causes a little bit of GI distress almost. Like I just feel like my insides are really rumbly. So I only take it once a day in the morning and I only take 40 milliliters instead of the 60. And I've learn this just through trial and error like a lot of things it's all trial and error to find what works best for you what amount works best for you same with digestive enzymes like some people need to take them every meal some people only need to take them with their heavier meals um and same with the apple cider vinegar some people take it three times a day with every meal some people only take it once a day it's just trial and error and finding what works best for you and what makes you feel best so don't be afraid to play around with things and mix things up because you won't know if you don't try so i just drink this plain i don't mind the taste of it i know some people will mix this with the apple cider vinegar a little bit of lemon in warm water and that kind of gets it all done in one shot first thing in the morning so just playing around with it um, but I don't mind it plain so another thing I have been taking is peppermint oil capsules and the important thing to remember with these is that you want it to be enteric coated and what that means is that it's especially coated so it will not break down in your stomach from the digestive juices in your stomach um, because when that happens and it is not utilized properly where it should be because it's broken down before it actually gets into the intestine so or before it actually gets into the stomach so i've been taking one of these with three meals a day so one tab three times a day peppermint oil it's a great antioxidant um in peppermint oil mainly helps with inflammation as well so like i said my gut feels inflamed and the peppermint oil helps with this inflammation again trial and error to find how much works best for you but i find three times a day works well for me so the next thing i've been taking is betaine hcl so what betaine hcl does is it helps to digest proteins so if you're dieting you normally eat a lot more protein or if you just eat high protein in general i personally love protein i eat a lot of protein um and sometimes protein is hard to break down in the body and that's also another sign of why you're gassy if you eat too much protein and it's not breaking down properly or it's just accumulated in your gut you'll be gassy because of that so anyways um i take um betaine hcl with um my meals i take it four times a day with every meal i only eat four meals a day and um that's just what works for me so what this is going to do it's going to help to increase the acidity of your stomach and when you increase the acidity of your stomach it helps to break down foods better um a lot of people don't have um, an acidic enough stomach, like the pH is off and that can affect the 
digestion and breaking down of your food. So the B betaine HCL, it helps to decrease the pH of your stomach, which makes it more acidic, which helps the breaking down of food and proteins. And yes, so I just take one of these a day. Um, one, sorry, I take one of these a meal. One of these is 500 milligrams of the betaine HCL. Um, I think you can take up to 2000 a meal. Don't quote me on that but um, you just have to play around to find which dose works best for you. You can Google recommended doses, but I find that one um, works good enough for me with each meal. So that is another thing that I do recommend to take with um, your meals or with your high protein meals to see if this does help with your digestion. So really quick video, just a glimpse on what I take for gut health. Um, this is my main gut routine plus my sauerkraut um, which I don't have with me, but uh, another thing to know with the sauerkraut is when you buy it, you have to make sure that it is in the refrigerated section. First of all, a lot of people just buy it off the shelf. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing guys. Like you think it is, but it is not because it doesn't have, um, like probiotics. Okay. So sauerkraut contains probiotics. Probiotics are live cultures. Live cultures must be kept refrigerated in order to stay alive. So if you don't buy it in the fridge, the cultures aren't alive, thus they are not going to benefit you like the point of taking sauerkraut is. So naturally fermented foods contain um, live probiotics and that's why they're refrigerated because they are live living cultures. So make sure you buy it in the refrigerated aisle and i think that's it so thanks for watching guys if you have any questions about anything just let me know down below if you want to see something else let me know um but other than that thanks for watching thanks for the love and support and we'll see you next time